Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another video. Now today what we're going to be working on is trying to get the dents um, and the misshapen metal pulled back out. The way we're going to do that is by using a slide hammer, um, but I'm going to go over that in just a second, so let me show you the areas that we need to take care of. All right, so obviously we've got this major area right here. We're going to have a dent down there, which is actually pushing the entire side skirt up, which is interfering with the door, which is why all this paint is gone, because uh, I was test fitting it the other night. Over here, uh, you've got this dent, which is kind of hard to see in the camera, but you've got this dent here, which needs to be pulled back out. Now, this is probably going to be more of an experiment than anything, but I've always wanted to try it, so I'm just going to go for it. So I went out and picked up this slide hammer. It has the weight in the center, and then you've got your rod, and then you've got this piece down here. It doesn't come with any attachments. It was the cheapest one available. That's purely because I knew that none of the attachments that were included in here was going to work for me. Now, in order to get the slide hammer to work for me, pretty much the only thing I'm going to be using from the original box is the weight. And then from there, I'm going to build my own slide hammer setup. So I've got a threaded rod here. Then I got all of this other stuff here. So I've got a couple coupling nuts, I have several large and small bolts in here, and then I have some washers and some nuts that will fit onto this rod. Alright, so in order for this to work, I'm going to take the weight. So now that I've got the weight on here, I've got to do a couple things. First thing is I've got to make a stopper for the front and I've got to make a stopper for the back. The stopper is just there so I don't smash my hand with the weight. I'm going to build that out of a couple washers so I'll weld these together and then I'll weld a nut or two on them. That way I can thread them on as one solid unit so when it comes back it hits that, stays on the threads, and it doesn't smash my hand. Same thing with the front. From there, in order to start pulling dents out, I'm going to use these coupling nuts. I might end up welding two of them together, just that way there's more threads holding it all together. And then I'll be using these bolts, which are the right thread for the coupling nut as well as the rod. Then I'm gonna weld these large bolts into the areas where I need to pull out like the frame, big stuff like that. Well, I've got some welding to do, so I'm gonna go ahead and get to work on that, start building this contraption, and then we'll see how it works on the car. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've tried several different things to try and get this frame out. As you guys saw, I used the winch uh, to try and pull it out, I had the entire car anchored down, and uh, that really didn't do anything. I went and found a tree and tried to use a come along to pull it out so it was a little bit more steady and consistent. Uh, that really didn't do anything. I have one more thing I'm going to try uh, before I start cutting into this frame. So rather than trying to continue to pull this out, this entire sheet of metal in here is pushed in. So. I'm going to try, instead of pulling on this to hopefully pull the rest of this metal out, there's a lot of metal in there keeping it pushed in. So that brace right along there is bent, and so it's holding it in place. So what I'm going to do is use this tool that I got from Harbor Freight. So it's a hydraulic equipment set, and basically it's, uh, it's like a bottle jack, 
and I'm gonna use it to press that frame out. So halfway done, so I've got this piece uh, welded back up. Not the prettiest thing, but it's uh, it's definitely sturdy. I've got some square uh, tubing there on either side to strengthen the edges because I've been hammering on it and it's probably a little bit weaker. All right, so here we've got the piece that I cut off. It's just on that hinge right there. So I've got it pressed in place. And then I'm going to tack weld it along here and then unbolt it here, unbolt it up here, get the door out of the way and then just finish welding all the way around this edge here and then that way this should be good to go. Alright, so obviously I started welding everything and making sure everything was solid and the door shuts beautifully. Um, the panel is what I'm working on now and uh, let me show you guys where it's at. Here we are. Obviously it's really rough, but then again, the only thing, the only purpose this really serves is to keep water out of uh, where your feet are in the car. So I've managed to get all of the bolt holes to line up here, so where the door mounts and then there are these two 10 millimeter bolts here which is great because it helps line up this piece so i'm going to continue to hammer this out and then uh, this will all get ground down and everything then i can go through and i'll just uh, fill in all these spot welds and uh, paint over those uh, paint this panel and then should be good to go
stings the nostrils in a good way. Yeah. Brian, I'm going to be honest with you. That smells like pure gasoline. 60% of the time, it works every time. That doesn't make sense. All right, so uh, got the panel back on, everything's welded on, put a coat of primer on, and seam sealer. So uh, it's kind of ugly, but it will do the job, so check this out. So here we are, got the panel, like I said, super ugly, but, uh, but yeah, so these holes are lined up exactly where the door needs to be. Um, everything is welded into place. It's, uh, I mean, it's on there, you know? Over here, uh, it's not the prettiest thing in this area, but uh, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. The door just has to close. That's pretty much uh, the the most important thing right now. Alright guys, well the door is finally on, the fender is finally on, the uh, alignment of the fender is a little rough right now just because I haven't really tweaked it, uh, but I just wanted to get it on so that way I could uh, drive the car in the driveway and just, just kind of see it all put together which is nice because it uh, hasn't had a door for a while. So. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get it out of here, but yeah, that is uh, that is gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Trying to get all this stuff uh, aligned was a very big pain, um, but I think it turned out really well. The door opens and closes pretty nicely. The, uh, the window's up so it kind of rattles, but that's okay. So next video, uh, I really need to work on the windshield. I'm gonna be taking the windshield out of the uh, off of the donor Miata and putting it on this one. So that means I've got to figure out how this one uh, comes apart uh, and then take it off and uh, begin the process of swapping it over. So that is next, um, but that's going to do it for this video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out a lot. And if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, make sure you click that uh, notification bell. That way you guys can see when the latest videos come out and you don't miss one. Also, you can check out my Instagram, which will be linked in the description box down below. Um, yeah, that is going to do it. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Have an awesome day.